Adventures. Today I'm coming at you guys with yet another story time. So I hope you guys enjoy them because I'm just spewing them out. Spewing out these story times. So I hope you guys enjoy them. But before I get into the story time, I would like to let my new subscribers know that I do code words in every single video. So comment down the code word below and you can get a shout out in my next video. Um, also, if you turn on your post notifications, you can get a shout out and you can comment down below. Hashtag post notification gang, hashtag post notification crew, hashtag post notification squad. And I will most likely give you a shout out in my next video. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn on your post notifications, and subscribe to my channel for more of my content. Let's get into the video. So as most of you guys know, and if you don't, now you will know that I used to work at Subway, the sandwich shop, for about two and a half years. Um, I got the job when I was 16, and I stopped working there when I got pregnant in 2018. So I worked at that job for a while. I knew the customers. I knew everybody, basically. It was right next to my school, next to a gym. I was in a plaza. I knew everyone okay everyone knew me it was cool our subway location was extremely slow the only people that would come in there are like men from gold's gym in the same complex or students from the high school basically and it would only be like one or two hours of maybe like a 10 hour shift where we were busy so we already had a slow location so my boss decided to let me work sundays alone from 3 p.m to 8 p.m and so every single sunday i was working three to eight alone so on this specific day i go into work i clock in say goodbye to my coworkers because obviously like i said i'm working alone and I'm just getting my food prepped, washing dishes, serving customers, the only few customers that we had in the building. And it was fine, yada, yada, yada. A few hours go by, and by this time, it's probably like 5 p.m. I get there at 3, by this time it's 5, and I'm just excited for the night to end. Nothing crazy's happened. I didn't get any, like, big crowd. I didn't get any crazy customers. I didn't get any rude customers. I didn't have to do a lot of sandwich making. It was easy peasy lemon squeezy so our restaurant's really small it's just the door that you walk into a fountain a fountain where you get your drinks chairs and then if you walk straight to the back there's a bathroom but right there before you get to that bathroom is our door so you can walk either straight to the bathroom or you can walk into the back room where we would be making your sandwiches you know so the store is really small and so anytime i would interact with a customer it would be really close really personal because the store is small not like it's a big deal or anything not really relevant to the story but i'm just saying it was close and personal when you talk to your customers all i'm saying so by this time it's 5 p.m i'm just chilling on my phone watching little videos waiting to get customers and then all of a sudden the store's phone rings like i would normally do i go to the phone i pick it up and i'm just like Thanks for calling Subway. Charity speaking. How may I help you? Thanks for calling Subway. Charity speaking. How may I help you? And then I put down the phone. All I heard on the phone was just static. And I was thinking, oh, maybe somebody just called to see when we're closing because we closed earlier on the weekends and people always call. Or maybe there's just kids playing on the line because there were always children calling the store and playing. So I, of course, didn't think anything of it because we always got phone calls and sometimes people didn't even say anything. So it wasn't a big deal to me. So I go back to the back and I'm just chilling on my phone and all of a sudden, the phone rings again. So I walk back to the phone, pick it up. Hello. Thanks for calling Subway. Charity speaking. How may I help you? Hello. Thanks for calling Subway. Charity speaking. How may I help you? No one said a thing. So at this point, I'm just like, okay, maybe they're just going to come in. Like, maybe they're just going to come into the store because obviously, like, the line's not working. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I go back to the back 
area and I just start cleaning dishes because I'm just like okay whoever calls obviously can't get into contact with me they're not saying anything so they're just most likely going to come to the store because most people just come to the store when they don't know like when they can't get a hold of us so I just go washing dishes trying to prepare myself so like okay if we have a customer I'm already busy I can just go out there and get them done and then I can just come back here and chill for a bit until it's time to close as I'm washing dishes all of a sudden I hear the phone ring and I'm just like okay okay after this call I'm just like okay after this call if they call me again I'm just not gonna answer it because I don't have time to just be going back and forth and back and forth to the phone nobody does nobody got time for that and nobody's playing I got stuff to do and they're playing around on the store's phone i was just like ain't got to deal with this today ain't got time to deal with this today so i go back to the phone i pick it up and i'm just like thanks for calling subway charity speaking how may i help you hello and all i hear is breathing in the back and it sounded like a guy's breathing and so at this point i'm just a little creeped out and i'm just like who could this be like why are they just constantly calling my phone? Maybe it's my boyfriend. Maybe he's just trying to prank me. Like, who could be calling the store's phone and just chilling on the line? Obviously no one is me because I keep answering the phone. So I just hang the phone up and I head back to the back. Before I could reach the back, the phone rang. Again. I finally pick up the phone and all of a sudden, I just hear somebody go I'm your nigga I said what I said who is this who is this and then they hung up and I knew it wasn't my boyfriend because I was just like this doesn't sound like my boyfriend he's at work he at work right now this is not my boyfriend okay so who could it be? Who could it be? I was a little sketched out by this point. And literally guys, so I could I thought like, okay, maybe it's this person, maybe it's this person. Because I had met so many different people at Subway, but specifically from Gold's Gym. There was a bunch of men that would come from Gold's Gym to Subway. And they would always just conversate with me, tip me big bucks. And there would be some men that were really weird, like in their 30s like hey can I get your phone number hey I'm a club promoter I would like for you to come to the club with me hey I know you're underage hey I know you're underage but um how about you come to my house type of thing okay and so I was just like wow like maybe it's just one of the creeps that I met at the gym guys if you hear my ear it just cut on so hopefully I can talk over it but it just cut off so I was like wow maybe it's one of the creeps from the gym because I've had a lot of people be a little weird towards me and my boss described me as a flamboyant person I'll put that definition on the screen but when I told him about this incident he was like well Trudy you are a really flamboyant person so you gotta stop being too flamboyant I didn't even know what that meant I googled it and I was just like oh maybe I am a little flamboyant I'm a little too nice and so I was just like maybe my niceness is coming back to hunt me i head back to the back and i text my boyfriend and i'm just like somebody's constantly calling the store's phone i don't know what to do and he didn't even respond because he was at work too so i'm just chilling here like what do i do and all of a sudden i'm looking at the cameras in the back of my restaurant and you can like see the cameras from the front line if somebody was in the lobby or from outside and i just see a car pull up and so i'm thinking okay i'm about to get a customer so I walk near the Bane. It's where we keep our food and our veggies or whatever. It's called the Bane. I walk near there. I put on my gloves. I'm getting them out. And it's a black car with tinted windows just sitting in front of my restaurant. Just sitting there. Car on. Obviously, somebody's in the front wheel. They never came in. They never parked. They just pulled up in front of my restaurant. Tinted windows. All black and just sat there 
And I was like, this is obvious. They're obviously watching me because I can't see them, but they can obviously see me because your windows are tinted. So you know I can't see you. You know I can't see you. So guys, I was literally freaked out. I was like, um, okay, are they going to come in? Who could this person be? Where did this car even come from? And so I take my gloves off and I head right back to the back. And I look at the cameras and then the car drives off. And I was like, okay, cool. Maybe they were just like looking for somebody. I don't have to be worried, but this all like, it's a little weird. And then I head back to the back and I start texting my boyfriend. I'm just like, answer me, answer me, answer me. Something's going on. And then there's a knock on the back door of the restaurant. Guys. When I tell you, when I tell you, I thought I was going to die because i'm literally such a dramatic person i was like oh my god who could be knocking on the back door of this restaurant because the crazy thing is nobody knocks on the back door because there's only dumpsters back there only dumpsters and so i'm just like this has got to be somebody like trying to fuck around with me they're, they're trying to play with me and i'm freaked out like i'm so freaked out and i was just like okay what do i do what do i do our back door is locked and i'm just like should i run to the front to lock the door should i press the police button i don't want to cause a scene but like it seems serious and so all of a sudden i just hear the knock on the back door and i did not answer it i'm just like what do i do and so i'm just standing there like close closest to the exiting door of the back area where we like work and i'm just like sitting there like oh my gosh my life's about to end what do i do will i make it and then the knock just went away. It just went away out of nowhere. And so I finally texted my boss and I was like, look, look, look. Someone called the store's phone harassing me. Black car is just whipping and dipping, peeping through the windows. There's a banging on the back door. I said I can't do it I can't do it. I said I don't know what to do I'm scared and he was like lock the doors call your family tell them to pick you up you need to go home and I was like say no more say no more guys when I tell you I was working so freaking quick I was putting the food up like this like this I ran I ran to lock that front door I ran I was like, you're not gonna get me today. Mysterious man in the black car. And I call my sister and I'm just Hey, there's a guy or somebody's literally watching me. I need you to come pick me up. We live five minutes away. So I was just like, if she picks me up, he can easily follow us home because we live five minutes away from my job. I do everything, I get my keys, I lock the store's door. And as I'm locking the store door, guys, tell me why that same black car pulls up and parks in the parking lot with their lights and engine still on I told my sister I said that black car that just pulled up is the exact black car that was watching me I said so don't go home don't go home because they will follow us so we literally had to lock the store up drive around until we fit, felt like there was no one following us and then head home and then I told the parents and everything then my boss decided after this day maybe he should let me work alone on Sundays after this day maybe he should let me work alone on Sundays so after this little incident I stopped working alone on Sundays I finessed that but that's the story time today for you guys I hope you guys really enjoyed it tell me what you would have done guys tell me what you would have done because I honestly I was so scared I was like I'm gonna stop being nice I'm gonna stop being nice I'm gonna stop being nice because obviously people are just taking advantage of that and I ain't got time I ain't got time so let me know what you guys would do down below in the comments okay and if you stay long enough for this video, you will know if you got a shout out because it was on the screen and you should know the code words, which you should comment down below if you watch the video all the way through. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching my video and I love you guys so much. And I am excited to see you guys in my next video.
Bye.